Hi guys! We're on our way to Governor's Island for the day. I've never been. We're on the ferry currently. Very exciting. And we're gonna go to Island Oyster, which is one of these restaurants that I've been like dying to go to. It's like seafood. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to take you through the day. Like, if you're gonna do something in this city, let's do this together. So I'll see you guys in a bit. That ferry was like the quickest and easiest thing ever. We're just straight across. It was maybe 10 minutes, 10 right? Minutes. It was so easy. You didn't even get a nice like breeze. And then right off the dock is Island Oyster. It's so cute. So we're here. It's a wonderful view of me, obviously, but also this. This place is so cute. And these cocktails look amazing. And obviously the menu, for sure getting this lobster roll. Okay, the food is here. <laughs> Look at this view. Look at this bartender. Hey! Look at that view. I got a watermelon swizzle, which is watermelon, lemon, mint, and seltzer. So the ferry is every hour coming out. So it's at one, two, three, and then going back it's every half hour. So it's 2.30, 3.30. We didn't realize that we thought it was at three. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out for another hour and just enjoy this gorgeous view. So you can come, they don't serve food at the bar, but you can get food at the little tables. The drinks here are delicious. Um, it was just so easy getting over here. So we um, took a cab down, but you can also take a subway down. So you just go to the Battery Maritime Building, um, and then it's $3 per person round trip to go there and back. 10 minute ferry ride, it's super easy, and the ferry dock is literally right here, and then the Island Oyster is right next to it. So it's like the easiest thing to do, just spend a nice summer weekend here. Okay, we're heading back, we're going back on the ferry. We got the round trip, so it's super easy. And remember that it leaves every half hour from Governor's Island. So I definitely want to come back one day and like, Ashley said something about a hammock park. So I'll definitely have to come back and see back around and explore. All right, we are back on the island, big island. Thank you. I'm gonna walk over to Pier A to meet up with Ashby and her sister Christy. Um, I love it down here and it's so nice. Pier A is probably gonna get a little bit poppin' later today, but it should be good right now. Just from one island side bar to the next, you know? Oh, cute little Ferris wheel. Oh, this area, like the battery, is so cute. It's right along the water. Oh, this is bikes only, JK, JK. A little sweaty from the boat ride, but it was so easy, so fun. A good way to spend a nice summer day. <sighs> so, I'm gonna go meet up with them, and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. And this is Pure A, once again, along the water. We get food and drinks, Statue of Liberty, and then Governor's Island, it's just right over there. So I'm looking for two blondes under a blue umbrella. I found them. So Ashby and Christy were supposed to meet us in Governor's Island, but we missed the ferry. They were pulling the ropes off. I was on the wrong off. dock. I was on the wrong dock. Farewell. And we just stood there and said, please let us on. And as you know, um, if you miss it, you gotta wait an hour. So now we're, now we're here. I'm feeling so All right, I am done with puree. Ashby and Christy went to go drop off keys. I am admittedly biking which and vlogging which I know I shouldn't be doing so it's gonna be short um, but I'm gonna head back to my apartment what's great is that living on the west side I'm able to just go from Battery Park all the way up to my apartment all on a city bike you get a nice little good workout in you have a fun time it's a nice summer day I thought might as well just bike home so I just got back to the apartment well close to the apartment so I like walk left um, and I forgot how long of a bike ride that was. It's four and a half miles, about 30 minutes on a bike. So, it was crazy. City bikes are like very heavy, so it wasn't like a really easy ride, but I don't even know if you can see me because now my son's, my back's the sun, but I need like all of the breeze I can get. I'm so hot. I'm just excited to be home. Whether surprising or not surprising, my makeup held up really well. So, I mean, I'm like very sweaty up here, but other than that, looks great. So I want to show you really quickly what was in my bag that I brought with us. I feel like it just has some of the essentials that I really haven't had a place to share but I wanted to share. So, okay, to start. 
from I Need a Point With Me. Um, for those who don't know, who don't follow me on Instagram, you should, this is my shameless plug. I am needle pointing a pillow for the wedding. So I'm doing that, I thought I would have extra time. Next is my Neutrogena Cool Dry Sport Sunscreen. So I didn't apply any after this morning, but I did apply that all over my arms and chest. I am not trying to get any kind of tan lines before the wedding because those just don't go away. Then this is like my little, not makeup bag, but like sun care and extras kit. So this is like has the important stuff in it. First is this super group setting mist so it has SPF um, setting mist is just good to like refreshen up your makeup um, I didn't use it today but if I wanted to this is great and it's also nice because it has sunscreen in it so it's a little travel size from uh, super group in Rebecca Mingoff collection next my chapstick my cocoa butter you guys know I love that and then I have my NARS lipsticks um, we were shooting today so I wanted to look a little cute I keep seeing my face being all shiny. Um, these are in the color Sex Machine and Intriguing. They're about the same color. Um, I just really use whatever is available. Next is a Super Group hand cream, um, SPF 40, so I just put this on my hands. Um, it's good as a lotion, but also as sun, pr sun protectant for your hands because you should treat your hands like you treat your face because they wrinkle just as easy. Next is Super Goop um, Mineral Part Powder. So I put this on my part. I didn't do it today, but I normally do um, because you don't want to burn right here and there's like really no good way to, you don't want to put sunblock in your hair. So this is a powder. It does come up white, so it gets like a little weird from time to time. And then my Charlotte Tilbury powder and a brush to apply if I was getting a little greasy. My Fenty lip gloss, this is the Fenty Glow. It is the best. It comes in like a little, um, this and like a little highlighter duo. It's great. Clear zinc oxide that I was supposed to put on my legs today, but I didn't. Um, this is SPF 50, I believe. Brought a change of earrings just in case. And then my brush, um, which I didn't use, but I probably should have. And then next. I have my camera that we shot on. Here are my earrings. I didn't want to ride with them, but you guys saw them from earlier. And then my sun hat, because I didn't know if we were going to be spending some time in the park or not. So I brought this just in case. Well, this looks silly, doesn't it? But it's my sun hat. It's perfect because you can like lean up against like a chair or a hammock or anything, and it doesn't get in the way. And also you can put your hair up or down, and it, it does not matter. And then I brought um, a change of clothes and a change of shoes just in case I wanted to do a quick little outfit change because, you know, your girl's bougie. Where did I put my scrunchie? I want to wash off all of my makeup. So we're gonna do that now. This is like just like the old days. Oh, what a daily vlog. You guys would always be in my bathroom with me. What I'm gonna do really quick, I'm gonna show you how I take all this makeup off. I'm like a stickler for taking off my makeup. Um, I don't leave it on for the full day. I only leave it on for as long as I need it, especially after a full summer day with the heat and the humidity and all like the dirt and gross stuff in the air. I definitely just want to come home and wash it all off. Let my skin have some time to breathe. And so to start, um, I'm going to use this makeup erase cloth. So now that that step is complete. I move on to a cleansing balm. I just ordered a new cleansing balm that people like rave about from Beauty Counter. So I'm excited to try that out. But this, you just really apply all over the face. Take a little bit more. And cleanse, balm your way, your makeup off. And when you're doing this first, you can totally do this first and do the other way. Um, it's just like the way I like to do it. This, you just wash it off. And then the next step, we're going to take micellar water. And this is really just a precautionary step. You can definitely kick this out. This is Bioderma. So micellar water not only removes your makeup, but it also helps, you know, kind of clean up the skin. But we're gonna wash um, it all the way after this anyway, so. Then we're gonna wash our face. Still using my Tula face wash. I don't like to just leave the Bioderma on it because it does tend to break me out. I just need to actually cleanse my skin. So now I feel clean. Okay, face is clean and fresh. I'm back in my, basically my pajamas. And now I'm just going to needlepoint, catch up on some TV, and have an early, <laughs> late lunch, early dinner. Well, a later lunch. 
and an earlier dinner before until I decide what I'm actually going to eat. So I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful time following along. Um, I'm not unsure what like these series will call it. This is basically like a vlog. It was a much cooler vlog than the ones I have done in the past. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm back and I'll see you guys next time.